Today we're going to replace the default character in Platformer Project with your custom character. And no, it doesn't have to be bought in the asset store. I'm going to be using a character that I had made for me on Fiverr with Maya, um, just so you can see that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import my character so that it doesn't slow us down later. So I'm just going to create a folder called my character. I'm going to open that folder. And then I'm going to go get my character. I had this character created on uh, Fiverr for me. It's a cat called Purdy. And then uh, once she's in here, you notice that she has no color. We can fix that quickly. Just go to materials, extract textures. And then once you extract them, you're going to have to fix the, uh, you're going to have to fix the normals, but that's super simple. Unity does it for you. All right, you see she has color now. Okay, the other thing we need to do is we need to make sure that she is compatible with the bone structure on uh, Lily here. Lily is a humanoid. Right now my character is generic. So we're just going to go ahead and select humanoid and hit apply. Okay, great. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fix my character because my character has extra bones like in the ears and in the tongue and in the tail and sometimes even though it shows that there's nothing wrong here um unity has grabbed the wrong bones and put them in the wrong place it just gets a little confused so i'm just going to fix the eyes if you notice it put the ears here i deleted the jaw just because my character doesn't have a jaw so it selected some other bone that it found hit apply and done. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to replace Lily, right? We want to use our character. So there's two things that we got to do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to unpack Lily. I'm just going to move her to the bottom. So when I open her up, we can see a little better. I'm going to open the skin and you're going to see Lily's character here. I'm going to put my purdy rig right there in the skin. All right. She's a little hard to see at first because she's inside Lily. And Lily has little cat ears now. Um, but I'm just going to adjust her size a little bit so that she fits just pretty close to what Lily is. Now you notice she's bigger, but she's above Lily. So I'm going to bring her down. Uh, that looks good. So her feet are on the ground and she's, she's about Lily size. All right. So uh, there's four things you need to do. So now your character's in here, but your character isn't going to be moving because your character doesn't have an animation uh, controller on it. So let's go ahead and steal lilies. So let's click the little bullseye here and type Lily. All right, so now she has all the animations that Lily has, but Lily also has something else that she doesn't have yet. So if we open up Lily's root and her hips, you're gonna see the hold slot. And if you open up the purdy rig and you open up the root, you're going to notice uh, that she doesn't have the same bone structure uh, hierarchy that uh, Lily has. And you're going to you're going to run across this sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the spine and I'm going to move. I'm going to copy the the uh, I'm going to copy the hold slot and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it um, as a child underneath my spine. It's not going to be correct. If you notice, look, see, it's a little weird. So let's just go ahead and reset it. And it's inside Lily. We're just going to pull it forward a little bit. And uh, yeah, th that that's going to have to do for right now. We'll, we'll fix that later. And I'll show you how to do that. Now that we've taken the hold slot out of Lily and we already have Lily's animator, we can go ahead and remove Lily. Goodbye, Lily. And, but now we have to set up about three more things. So the first thing we need to set up is the spin tail was originally attached to Lily's hand. But now Lily is gone, so we need to attach it to our hand. So I'm just going to continue going down the spine of my character. I'm just going to put it on the right hand. You can put it on the left hand if you want. My hand is called wrist. It's not called hand. Just drag that right into where it says hand in the spin tail, and that one is, that one is dealt with. Uh, the next thing we need to do is if you click on Lily, and you look at the player animator, you see that Lily has been deleted, so Lily's animator is missing. So let's drag our purdy rig right into that. Another thing that's missing since purdy is gone is her pickup slot. Well, the pickup slot is this hold slot you just created. So we'll just drag that right there. Other than that, she should be ready to go. If we hit play, we, we should be able to play. Let's find out. There we go. Look at that. We have successfully removed Lily. 
Um, but there's a couple things out that we still need to fix. Like for one, if we hang on the wall, you notice that she's a little bit low because Lily's arms were higher. To fix that, we can just click on Lily. And then over here, you'll see where it says player stat manager. You open this and then you open the stats and you're going to find this uh, data file. You click that and then here is all of the... Uh, all of the logic that is used in the script and you can access it here. Um, and you see where it says ledge hanging? Well, she was just a little bit low, right? So let's put 0.2, just move her up a little bit and let's see how much that affects her. All right, let's get over there and jump. There we go, that looks pretty good, right? Where she needs to be. All right, good. All right, so that's fixed. Now, what about that picking up boxes thing? Oh, that, that doesn't look good. Well, there's a couple ways we can fix this. The easiest way for me is you take your mouse over here and you go find your hold slot. It's gonna look like it has something in it now because there's a crate inside of it, but don't worry about the crate. Hit F in your editor so that you can actually find it. And then what I do is I just move the box here until I find the perfect place for it. it look like it's inside her hands there that looks pretty good and then come over here and copy this component you're going to go ahead and shut down make sure that hold slot is highlighted and you're going to paste those new that new location that you just added so if we go here and we hit play again and we try to pick something up we should have it in our hands now there that looks better and of course, this is personal preference. You can uh, you can put this uh, box or location of where she holds it anywhere. Like if you have a character where your animation is holding it over its head, then that's how you adjust it. And that's it. So basically, that's how you replace the default character and platformer controller. If you have any questions or you have a request for a tutorial in the future, please put it in the description. And um, until next time, like, subscribe. Thank you.